science is the best tool ever devised for understanding how the world works. Science is part of culture, and without science we cannot understand ourselves and we cannot understand the modern world. You know, it's unfortunate. I think many people still see science as a subject that they studied in school but left behind when they, when they took their final exam. To me, science is really a way of life. It's a perspective, it's an outlook, it's a way of engaging with the world so that one can employ you know, rational reasoning, deductive logic to really understand what's true and what's right and what's actually accurate about the world around us. And that is not a subject, that's a, that's a perspective. I think that science changes the way your mind works. That what science does is it teaches you to think critically and to think a little more deeply about things, that no longer is it sufficient to, to go by superficial impressions. Science has to provide the answers to some huge problems that we're facing. And of course climate change is the one that we're all thinking of, and the energy problem, and coming up with alternative sources of energy. But there are a vast range of other things to do with communicable diseases, and uh, what we need to do in terms of um, thinking about computation and the way our economy is going to be driven in the future. All these things relate to science and the scientific method. When you look at the 21st century, at the opportunities that we have, at the challenges that we face, right? From things like stem cells and, and climate change, from nanoscience to space travel, to nuclear proliferation, to all manner of things that will have a dramatic impact on life. They're all scientific. And if you don't have a public that's willing to engage with the scientific ideas, it's nearly impossible to have informed decision making. So in order that we can really participate in the ongoing development of life and culture, in order that we can play a part in the global dialogue about where our planet's going to go in the 21st century, we all have to speak at some level the language of science. When we're growing up, we just believe almost anything that people tell us, especially authorities and adults, and textbooks and politicians and YouTube, the Internet. I mean, there's just this sort of sea of information coming at us. And how can you tell the difference between, you know, it's right or it's wrong? You know, how do you know? If you added an extra egg, they were often able to rear the chick. Cultural evolution is a new kind of evolution. And the world of science, too, feels a new sense of hope.